<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the moment we have all been waiting for. Look at the cats. They are going nuts right now because we have a new package here. Oh goodness, I'm really excited for this. I've been waiting for this for two months and it's finally here and just in perfect timing because I leave for Colorado tomorrow. Here we go. Jared, hi. Come here. All right, here we go. Flick the knife. Dun, 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 dun. Boom! The magical camera is here. I've been waiting for this for so long. I'm super excited for about it. I know everyone's been giving this camera lots of hate. Jasmine, please get out of my shot. People have been giving this all kinds of hate and I'm really excited to test it out because I think this is gonna be absolutely perfect for my needs. Let me open this sucker up. The picture on the box is black, but I'm hoping that this is the silver one because that's what I ordered. Bunch of nothingness, strap, charger, battery, don't need any of that stuff. Let's get to this camera. Oh, <laughs> oh, she pretty. Oh my goodness. It's chunky, like, I have little bitty, little bitty baby hands. Um, so this thing is perfect. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is beautiful. Ooh. Oh, and you ready? Oh. That screen, it flips. Oh, I'm so excited for this. So, so excited. I'm so pumped. This is gonna be amazing. Cannot wait to test this out in Denver. And I don't know where I'm gonna go from this clip. Now there's been a lot of hate online about this camera. A lot of people who are reviewing it are saying that it's just a smaller a7 III with a lot less features. And for me, this camera is absolutely perfect. So I use the a7R III, which is what I'm recording on right now for everything. That's my main camera. It's for the past year and a half, it's been the only camera that I've had. And it's a great camera, perfect for photos, but there are a lot of things that it's lacking in video. And so I needed a second camera in order to record YouTube videos because it's kind of hard to record yourself doing a photo session whenever the camera that you're supposed to be taking photos with is also the camera that you're supposed to be recording your videos with. And it's just a huge headache and it'd just be simpler to set up one camera and shoot with the other. The other reason why I wanted to get it is for shooting weddings as a second body. I've been renting the a7 III for most of my weddings as a secondary camera and I've racked up about a $600 bill over the past year for rentals. And I just figure it'd be much easier to have a camera instead of having to rent one every single time because then sometimes they might not have the camera in stock, yada, yada, yada. What makes this camera so much better for me than the a7 III is that it feels like they've done a lot more of the video improvements and kind of focus more on video with this camera than trying to make it the best of both worlds 100%. Now, it's still a great photo camera. All the features are wonderful on it for that. I can't really complain, but that's not what my use for it is gonna be. I'm not gonna start using this on my photo shoots because I already have a better camera for that. I'm more concerned with the video features and they really showed up with their video features on this camera. The weather ceiling also looks much better on this camera with the addition of the fancy doors, which I absolutely love. Um, they're a lot more robust, but there's also a better weather seal that goes all the way around the edge. And it just makes me feel a lot more confident in this camera, especially because this is gonna be my running gun camera. I'm gonna be throwing it into a bag, taking it out in all types of different weather and locations. And this camera, it seems like it's gonna hold up much better than the a7 III or the R3. Now the autofocus on this camera is fan freaking tastic. Like it is amazing. I never struggled with autofocus the whole Colorado trip, like not once. And in this next video clip that I'm gonna show with me talking about the camera in Colorado, um, just to have real world experience and what was actually going on while I was using it, this camera, the R3, was hunting the whole time. I mean, the half the video's out of focus, it's a mess. And even the lens was stopped down to 
f8 or something like that and i didn't have super harsh backlight the light was coming in from the side and i don't understand why this camera could not focus but i never had an issue with the autofocus one time on this new camera it is amazing and also too it does eye tracking in the camera which is phenomenal for video the other two cameras do not do eye tracking while you're recording video and so it really helps you keep that tack sharp focus throughout your entire video and it's wonderful like i cannot speak to how impressed i am with the autofocus on this camera well considering that things haven't gone as planned i figured this would be a great time to sit down and talk about this little guy right here so luckily this week my a7c came in right before this trip and so i really wanted to put it through the through the challenges this week and it's been absolutely amazing. I love this flip out screen I've never had a camera with a flip out screen before and so Really makes filming yourself super easy um, It's a lot thicker than what I thought and I've got little baby hands and so it fits perfectly in my hands It feels really good and solid. The only thing is the headphone jack wiggles a little bit I don't know if that's gonna become an issue or what but it hasn't messed up my audio thus far so that's really good. Um, the lack of dials here isn't really an issue for me. Um, I started off with the A5000, so I'm used to only having one dial or even zero dials at all. So that's not really my biggest concern. I love the new placement of the record button and how big it is. It makes it so easy to just pop that button in, hit record, and just go. Um, it really is one of the best get up and go cameras. You just grab it, take it with you. Um, you can literally carry this thing anywhere and one of my favorite features which is to me personally probably is the fact that it has three memory modes on here so you can program three different memories in order to um, save those settings i use them for video which is perfect so i've got i've got number three set to 4k 24 frames a second number two is 60 frames a second at 1080 and number one is 120. so anytime i'm filming anything if i want to switch to 120 frames from 4k all i do is flip the dial twice and it goes right into it and so it makes this really easy run and gun shoot possible so i would absolutely recommend this camera especially if you already have a main photo camera and you want to do some video you want to shoot some youtube videos all the other things it's awesome i mean it's literally an a7 III compressed and then upgraded no record time limit so i'm really happy with this camera and it's got some amazing pictures that i've been able to do with it and some awesome videos as well i mean but look at this, I can't really take all the credit. This is absolutely gorgeous. Now one of the coolest features about this camera, if Sony can update their software, is the new um, gyroscope feature that is in it for stabilization. So there's a gyroscope in here that is recording data on the camera movements on how it moves and you can plug it into Sony's program and it will map that out and give you perfectly stable footage. Um, it does have some limitations. You do have to crop in a little bit depending on how smooth you were in the beginning versus throwing it into the program. Um, so there are a few limitations to it, but it's a million times better than any type of warp stabilization or anything like that. I have footage of me trying to stabilize things in the mountains and my mountains are like shaking and moving and whatnot, which it looks terrible. So this is gonna solve a lot of those problems. Now, in a lot of the pre-production reviews that I saw, it said that you had to turn off the stabilization inside the camera in order for the gyroscope data to be picked up. I don't know if Sony updated that or not because whenever I threw all of my files into the computer after this trip, every single one of them said that they could be stabilized. So I don't know if that means that they can be stabilized with the gyroscope data if you have this off and they can just be stabilized a different way if it's on or if the gyroscope data is just recording the whole time and Sony fixed that issue. Why I say Sony needs to update their software is because you cannot batch edit these videos. So I recorded, I don't know, like 300 something clips from Colorado. And in order for me to stabilize all of those, I would have to go through one by one and click and queue it up and stabilize it instead of being able to create a queue where I could click stabilize on all of them, come back in 30 minutes and everything would be stabilized. You have to go through everything one by one. So if Sony would update that feature, that would be absolutely amazing. So the only real complaints that I have about this camera, which I do, is first off, the shutter sound. It sounds like a children's toy. Or it sounds like a paintball gun. It's really just 
it's it's it sounds absolutely awful. Um, the other thing that I have to complain about is there is no IR sensor on the front of this camera. So whenever I'm recording YouTube videos, I like to use this remote to start and stop my recording and I can't do that anymore. That's just a small complaint that I have. Um, I can see why they took it off because most people probably are not using IR remotes anymore, but it is something to know. Other than that, this camera is absolutely amazing. I'm so happy that I purchased it. It is gonna serve my needs perfectly. If you're just starting off into photography and wanting to dabble into videography, this camera is perfect because of all the video restrictions that were created in the other cameras have all been solved now. And so it really is the absolute best of both worlds and it's an amazing video beast. I'm not gonna get into all the technical specs. If you wanna see those, there are other YouTubers who do that. But as a real world usage test, I cannot find anything that I absolutely hate about this camera. I have loved every second of using it and it has pushed me to want to create even more just because I love having my hands on this thing and the the products that come out of it are just absolutely gorgeous. I hope you enjoyed this review about the Sony a7C. It's a phenomenal camera and if I missed anything or you still have questions, please leave a comment below or DM me at Johnny Trigo on Instagram with any of your questions. I would love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video and want more of this type of content, leave a like below and please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and remember nothing is wasted.